And today, we're doing a countdown video. And what are we going to do? We're going to make the three color yarn, purple, orange, and pink. Yep, at Lucas's request, we are going to paint some yarn with purple, orange, and pink. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Lucas's colors have one packet of orange and one packet of lemonade, one packet of cherry, and two packets of grape, each in a quarter cup of water. These are the flavors of Kool-Aid that I am using today, but I am going to add the powders to the cup off camera. All right, Lucas, you had a question. What was your question? What are those? In these cups, it is Kool-Aid. And I just showed the viewers what colors are going into these. Um, but we've got your paint right here. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to take one of these inexpensive sponge brushes, dip it into your paint. Okay, now dab it on the yarn. Yeah. Okay, now dip and dab. But be careful not to spill that. So you can dip it pretty far in. Yeah. And now dab it onto your yarn. Cool, and that's what you keep doing. So I gave Lucas a quarter cup volume, but I want to start trying to dissolve my colors in an eighth of a cup to make it a little more paste-like and to make the colors even more saturated. La 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 Oh cool. Let me know when you're ready to change colors because you don't have to finish the orange. We can go mix back and forth between the colors, honey. Are you putting water in all of them? I'm putting water in all of them so that way I can mix up the dye. And since Kool-Aid has both citric acid and the food coloring in it, it is sufficient uh, for for dyeing the yarn. Oh yeah, Mr. Happy Kid? Are you working to mix the colors? Well, I'm mixing the colors because I am also going to paint. Well, I made it really deep. Really deep? Mm. I, put, I made it on all, all of them. Oh. Da, 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 so it's still very liquidy. It's not quite a paste. I think that if you really wanted to try to make a thicker paste, you could try using like a, a like a Mommy, look cloth. at how full it is. Wow, dab it on the yarn. Yeah, and try to get color all in all different places. Do you want to switch to a different color? Yeah, now purple. Hold on. <laughs> Mama, switch it. All right, there you go. There's purple. See, doing this with a ooh. It's my first time using green apple, so I'm really excited uh, by the scent. And I'm just gonna got some paper towels. Um, Look at how deep I made it. Wow. Oh, that's so pretty. Da, da, ba, ta, da, da, ta. Lucas is using 100% worsted weight wool, and I am going to use um, 100 grams of a wool nylon blend. Mommy, my... I'm, I'm ready for some more oil. Okay, well, hold on. Let Mama do it, please. Let me put my yarn on the table so that way I can do this too. All right. You want some more orange? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, actually, I'm going to, I'll be moving this, I think, as I'm painting. So I'm going to start with two ends right here and then maybe spread it out more as I need to. Let's start with some red. Wow, look at how bright that is. I mean, two packets of Kool-Aid in 
in this water is really a lot. And yeah, so it's not getting very deep. So you're gonna wanna keep going over it. Mixa, mixa, mixa. Mixa, mixa, mixa. Oh, look at those colors. Why for some pink gifts? Um, all right, hold on. Well, since you're ready for pink, why don't I move your yarn around a little bit? So we can get some color on the other side of it, all right? And so here's some pink. Bloop. All right, so that's starting to get through, but okay, I think I'm gonna do some like really vibrant packs of color. Now I'm ready for some yellow. Wait, what? I don't use some. But that's some. mommy's yellow. I'm ready for some more pop. Okay, more purple. There you go. Oh. Alright, and I have, which is not going to be great, but since I'm planning to use one brush for all this, I have some water so I can try rinsing my brush out. Can I try rinsing out my brush? Um, sure, you, since you can't really reach, you want Mama to rinse it out? Yeah. Alright, here you go. Thank you. I'm going to squeeze out the excess water. Let me squeeze out the excess and water. And I'm going to do yellow before I do orange because, oh gosh. Okay, good, you can't see. I'm going to do yellow before I do the orange because I want, um, then I won't need to rinse in between. I'll do the yellow, I think, like over here. I may put some, will you, will you, I'm ready for some more oranges. You ready for some more orange? Okay, let me get you the orange. And force, force help me uh, rinse. Okay. All right, kiddo. Here you are ready for more orange. I'm just checking make sure I'm getting all the way in. I did use the salad spinner on the yarn today, so that way I could um, really get uh, a lot of the water out before starting hand painting. La, 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 la. <gasps> Careful. It only sprinkled yarn, nothing else. Okay. Well, wow, this is so bright. Look, I made a big Pink splash. Oh yeah? Yeah. So the one thing I'm noticing about using this brush right off the bat is that it is a it's lot easier. It's really fun. I like it. Oh, well yes, it is really fun and I really like it too. But the other thing I'm really noticing is that it is really easy to apply the dye in a controlled manner versus pouring or even the syringe. Um, yeah, it's... syringes are sticking in gooey. <laughs> oh, they are? They're sticking in gooey? All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, and I'm gonna skip. Skip what? I'm gonna skip the green momentarily and go straight to the blue. And then you need to get some green. And then I will come back and do the green. Whoa, look at how bright that is. Ooh, I'm really enjoying how saturated yeah, these colors Yeah, it's really are. fun and goofy. Yeah, it's really fun and goofy. Yeah. And you know, if I weren't here with my kid, I would probably be able to go, uh-oh. Oh no! I got a speck of blue where it wasn't supposed to go. Yeah. Oops, I guess I also just added some blue to the green color because I didn't wash the brush. And we haven't seen green apple before, but that's nice. Very, it's very silly. It's very silly? Yeah, and when you put twinges in, they get really messy and silly. Oh. That's right, they do. That's right, they do. Okay, so the other side, I think I'll need to flip this over before I do the other side to add some color, but I can tell already that with this pattern I've got going on, I'm gonna end up with uh, some excess but coloring. It's a little messy. 
silly. It's a little messy and silly. Yeah, are you making a rainbow? I am making a rainbow. Is that purple? This is the same purple that you've got. Why are you making, and what, will you make more rainbow? Yeah, I think I'm going to do more rainbow around this yarn. Do you like it? Yeah. And I do that on the whole grass. Oh. I do it on the, will you, I'm going to keep on doing these. Let me move on my people. A little bit right, closer. So now I'm going to lay out. Now that I've decided, as I'm kind of making it up as I go along, how I want to do this. Love, love, so I think. All right, I think I want to do one more repeat with the whites in between, and then do a rainbow like really close together. Um, so I think that that will be really pretty. Why did you skip blue? Skip green. Why did I skip green? Yeah. I did. Oh, oh, I skipped green and came back to it because I knew that um, it's the way that colors mix. Because you know, so what do red and yellow make? Orange. That's right. And so sometimes you can know by the way the order in which you add colors that can. Um, make a color a different color. That's right. You can make a color a different color. Oh, it tumbled me over. It tumbled you over? Yeah, only onto one foot. Careful. You're standing on a stool, honey, so please be careful. All right there, honey. All right there, honey bunny. You're so shiny. You don't I'm not a bunny. You are a bunny. Oh, I'm a bunny? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, your yarn is looking so cool. And now we need to do some more on the other side. Oh, you want me to move it? Okay, yep, I found some sections that you haven't colored yet. Oops, and mommy's hands are starting to turn color too. Oops, three drops. The drops are fine, just trying to be as careful as you can. All right, sweetie. So normally, I try to wear gloves, but I knew that trying to put gloves on a three, almost four-year-old would be, well, let's just say difficult. <laughs> mm -hmm. Time for my... It's starting to get... Now it's time for me to have some more purple. Careful. Oh. Because those aren't just starting to get kind of empty. <laughs> Why are you wearing purple on black on the way? Yeah, the, well, this is the purple color. It does look a little black, doesn't it? Yeah, and weird looking. Oh, it's weird looking? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't even look like purple. Think you know what that means? That means that yours, Lucas, your cups are empty. That means that your yarn is done. My, oh, I'm using a lot more paint. See? This is. Okay, we'll do the last bit. One is, the orange is empty. Yep, and so is the purple. So you have a little bit of pink left. Pink is empty. All right, give me this. And so what do you say? Was this a lot of fun? Yes. Yeah, are you really happy we did this together? Yeah. All right, so now what Mommy is gonna do is I'm gonna prepare this so that way I can put it in the microwave so that way the colors will be permanent. And, so and, I'm just gonna and roll will, you it take, up. will you take it to somebody? Um, I don't know. I think we can keep this one. Okay, so now I'm going to heat this up in the microwave, and then in a couple days when it's all dry and clean, I'll show you the finished yarn. What do you think? But I still see a little white spot. Yeah, well that's okay. I want to watch you do the rest. Oh, you want to watch me do the rest? Alright, well we'll see. 
I heated Lucas's yarn in the microwave for a total of four minutes until it was piping hot and now I'm going to let it cool completely as I work on finishing up my yarn. I just spread out a bit so that way you can see what I am doing a bit better. All right, so I think I want it to like be in between here and here. So, oh, but I should start in the right direction. Because I don't want to do, I almost start and put the red over here and then I would have been a little sad. And as I'm doing these last colors, I want to really make sure that I have good penetration in all the spots. And so the red over there is pretty good, as is right here. Do the grape because this will help me. I wish that people used like different reds and blues in the grape so it was less black. But I could have added, and I probably should have added some ice blue raspberry lemonade to it to, the, to just give us more of a purple shade. Oh, but it smells so good. I think of, as far as artificial flavors go, uh, grape is my favorite. Well, green apple is pretty high up there as well. And you can even see a little bit of breaking around the purple, um, which I always love. I mean, who doesn't enjoy some nice color breaking? Well, some people don't. And so that's, well, that's a shame. Uh, I'm blending these edges a bit. Yeah, so an eighth, an eighth of a cup of water it's not a lot of volume, but it's enough to bring us these super concentrated colors. And I just want to remind you that uh, I have, whew, I want to remind you that, that I added two, if not three packets to most of the colors. So these are, you know, and you could probably even stretch it further. I mean, it dissolved, right? But got some whitish patches over there. And now, for the last color, we just have a little more green. And all things considered, my hands haven't changed color too much. So, it's not bad. Well, hopefully I don't overpower the yellow. So in this section, we're starting to get uh, a lot more saturated with water and stuff. Um, which, given that there's a lot more, we're adding more color on here than we did in other sections, that stands to reason, but hopefully we do not lose the, the yellow. And let me check in here. Yep, let's add some green to the back. But yeah, using these sponge brushes, I'm having way more control over the colors than, than I am used to. Um, and actually, it I mean, I know my fingers have gotten a bit painted, but this is saving... Uh, my hands and is a lot cleaner. I think where I'm getting the most mess is from like squeezing out my um, sponge on the paper towels because that's where I'm touching it the most. I think use up the rest of this blue. All right. I think our gorgeous yarn is ready to start prepping for the microwave. Now since I want to attempt to avoid oops, some cross color contamination, I am going to probably add some more plastic wrap if I don't just create a tangled mess. 
And I'm also going to take a paper towel and clean up some drips from along the surface um, just to kind of help me out. Although actually, it would be pretty fun to like put drops of food coloring on a surface and then uh, hand paint via taking the yarn and just kind of dabbing it on the surface. I think that that would be really, really pretty. So I didn't show it, but I did use the salad spinner again today, and I used it to get as much of the water out of the yarn before I started hand painting, um, because I thought that that would be helpful to allow me to add and create these really saturated colors. All right, so now I'm gonna try not to squeeze it, put it in a microwave safe bowl, and then I am going to microwave it for about four minutes total in two minute increments. The yarns are done microwaving, and so now I just have to sit and wait for them to cool before we can wash them. All right, so what do you see here? Your yarn. Your yarn? Oh. Let's squirt a little soap. Well, hold on, hold on. It's not quite soap time. All right, so first we're going to unwrap it. Wow. wow. What do you think? I love it. You love it? No. We're going to start putting in some water. No, I will do it. You want to do the soap? A little bit. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> okay, we're going to rinse it in. We're going to see if all the color is in your yarn. Wow, check it out. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's done now. Well, there's a few more things that have to happen. You know what that is? It has to, oh careful because we don't want to spill honey. Um, it has to dry. Oh, we don't want hot water. Hot water could hurt the yarn. So, now we're going to finish washing it. And if this, if this water had turned pink, then we would need to do a lot more washes. But because it's clear, then we'll just do a bunch of rinses and then we'll get ready to hang it up to dry. Now it's time to unwind Mommy's yarn. Whoa. I love you. Whoa. Oh, we can get the bowl out of the way. No. Is it all different? Is it connected? What do you mean, is it all connected? So now we should fill it up. I know, well we have to get the plastic wrap off first. Eek! What? Well, it's a little hard to get the plastic wrap because Mommy wrapped this one pretty tightly. Hold on. Alright. Now it's time. Well, let me... Empty out this water real quick. So because mommy used so many, you want to add a little bit of soap? Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Because mommy used so many different colors to get these really, really bright colors, there's a lot of citric acid and other stuff to wash out. But what do you think? Is this really, really beautiful? Yeah. Look at that rainbow. I think this is the brightest, best rainbow I've ever gotten with Kool-Aid. And the purple for one looks pretty purple. But you can see that there's some breaking. You see a little bit of blue. Um, and there's some bleeding in between, but some of it's also just from the yarn moving. But oh, this is so fun. It's like unicorn yarn. So anyway... All of the color is in the yarn, as evident because the water is completely clear. So we are going to keep rinsing to try to get out all of the stuff, and then we'll hang it up to dry and come back to show you the finished dry 
Yarn. Yarn. Okay, careful, gentle, gentle, honey. This is the yarn that I hand painted with really concentrated Kool-Aid. I am so excited with how vibrant the colors are. And I think that this could make a really, really fun pair of socks, um, whether you knit straight with it or if you knit alternating rounds of this yarn with some plain bare yarn, you could spread out the colors even more and get some really, really pretty um, mini stripes of color or mini patches of color. If we look at the two skeins of yarn that we painted in this video, uh, they don't really look that similar. I chose to do a little more controlled palette and did some rainbow gradient and mini patches and Lucas decided to go for a more exuberant and enthusiastic method of applying his pink, purple, and orange to this yarn. I think that both results are absolutely beautiful and I really like applying dye to yarn using a sponge brush and I think that this is something that I am going to use further. Next time I think that I will use um, more, more than one sponge so I'll have a different sponge for each color because I think that that would help speed up my process and help me keep the color separate. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you for all of your support for the Chemnitz videos. If you want to help support more videos, check out the Dye Pot Weekly Kickstarter campaign. And now, here's Lucas. I want to see my yarn. The pink is. Oh, other way. What do you think? Yeah. It's what? <laughs> it's your wet. It's it's not wet. What do you think of your yarn? It's yeah, it's like a scarf. <laughs> That's your favorite thing to do with your yarn, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think of the colors? Nifty go nifty. <laughs> Is this your favorite yarn that you've ever dyed? Yes. Or do you like your other one better? I like this one. You like that one? Do you want to keep it or should we give this one away? Keep it. Okay, we can keep it. And are you going to give yours away? Well, I think that I might give this away. Because Mommy's doing something called a Kickstarter campaign. And some people get to pick some yarn. Other side, honey. Mommy's doing a Kickstarter campaign and um, for a video series called Dye Pot Weekly. And in some of the rewards, people get some of the yarn that Mommy dyed. What do you think of Mommy's rainbow yarn? It's rainbow, it's rainbow. Thank you for watching my cabinet video. I hope you like it. Bye, bye.